So um, I actually, you know, decided that I'm going to switch up the formula for the series a little bit because, well, here's the thing. I kind of was doing it where I was listening to these songs for the first time. However, I kind of have to go through and pre-screen them now just to make sure that there's no nothing triggering in there because, oh my goodness, it is just so exhausting to have something, a trigger just pop up there and then realize that now I have to edit that out instead of continuing to do what I want to do. And it's just, Arr! So we're going to be going forward with me just going through the analysis right away. So I hope you don't mind. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Visit Joan, and welcome to another episode of Done Their Job, the series where I look at a new record track that was written for an anime or a show or a movie or whatever that I know nothing about and try and piece together the song and the lyrics and see what's going on and tell if the artist has done their job. Today we are looking at a, oh boy, um, you know, I can pronounce Japanese names pretty well, but I have to think about it. It doesn't come naturally to me yet. And this is a song for Horiyama. No, no, no. This is a song for Horibia called Keep to Myself by Sine Wave Fox featuring Chi Chi. Now, I haven't really heard any of Sine Wave Fox's other stuff. I haven't seen any of Chi Chi's solo stuff either. I have seen her on Pokemon Cyphers, which are the only really rap tracks I listen to. But um, never mind that. Um, so this is going to be something newish for me. Like I said, I have pre-screened this, so I did listen to it a few days ago, but it's been a while since then and I don't really remember anything. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Also, I would like to apologize for this mess behind me. I know that this background and the lighting and this whole situation in general is not ideal, and that's because it's a work in progress, and I have not been able to make progress because most of this stuff isn't mine. And okay, that's kind of a lie. A lot of it is, but a lot of it isn't. And no one's just gotten a chance to go through it yet or to figure out the lighting yet. We did have a big change in lighting when there was a tree on our street that used to block sunlight for coming in this window over here. It got chopped down because they're doing, they're screwing around with the sewers. I don't know. They're replacing sewer pipes or something. I don't know, but that that's just what has been going on. So we got a new light source there. So that's why things are kind of different now. And it's just, you know what? This is, this is what I've got. So from, from the title of this, I'm guessing that this is a song for a couple. Okay, this this video looks great so far. Spend my whole life hoping someone would notice me. And then showed up and switched on my reality. Okay, right away I'm getting the vibe that this really sounds like more of a mainstream song with the lyrics instead of like a uh, nerdcore. And I'm gonna give you guys Sine Wave Fox a wait, wait, it just said so on the screen. I'm an idiot. Let's let's go back and look at this. It was Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, so Sine Wave and Chi Chi did do the lyrics. So I'm going to guess that they um did the lyrics for each of their own part. I don't know if that was the case or if they collabed on the whole thing, but big props to them for creating something that is, you know, that you almost can't tell the difference that it's nerdcore. And that's, that's kind of... I know that nerdcore is a very specific niche, it's a very specific genre, but I love to see it bridge that gap because that's what I try to do because it it music should just be able to be enjoyed by everyone, you know? And and you know, some people are not going to enjoy this stuff, some people, I am not a huge rap fan myself, but that doesn't mean that rappers aren't talented and I know there are a lot of people that do enjoy rap and hip hop, so, and some of it is actually pretty good, but it's just not my cup of tea, so. I realize that not everybody's going to enjoy this type of music, but I feel like the, this can reach out to a wider audience because of the lyrics here. So props to you on that. My whole life hoping someone would notice me And then you showed up and switched on my reality huh. The way you move is taunting Would you want to take your chances on me? I'm not used to feeling like this, but something about you is different, yeah. I've seen what's underneath, and I wouldn't change a thing. Got me wondering if you'd feel the same. I 
don't want to mess this up. This is more than... Okay, I, I really like this. It looks like a real lyric video. This is, this is fantastic. Just a crush. You bring out parts of me that no one's seen. I can't get you out my head. This is selfish, I admit. You can have me if I can keep you all to myself. Oh, I like this. Oh my, what is going on here? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, before we get into the second verse, I just I just feel like there was not just all that much to analyze here, just because it, it just, it sounds like, you know, your generic song, and that's, that's not a bad thing, like I said before, but what I'm getting from this is I'm getting that these two have not really interacted that much on a romantic level. I mean, maybe they've talked to each other. Maybe, I don't know. They, they could be friends, but I, from the lyrics I was, um, hearing before, let me just go back a little bit. My whole life, hoping someone would notice me. And then so this sounds like it's somebody like me when I was in school. And not to say that nobody noticed me. I mean, people did notice me because I was, like, literally the bottom of the totem pole. I was the reject of the rejects for three years in middle school. And that was fun, let me tell you. And then, but, but you know what? I kind of relate to this because it feels like I, I, you know, I have been waiting for friends and stuff. And, oh my goodness, when, when you're, that, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. But, but I feel like this narrator here is somebody who, um, people just, he kind of is the person, like the wallflower or something like that, like kind of like the person that nobody notices they're there and just slips through the cracks and maybe he has his own group of friends or maybe he doesn't have any friends at all and he's just kind of going through life and, and, you know, just trying to figure out when something is going to happen for him and then all of a sudden he meets this girl. At least I'm going to assume it's a woman because we have male and female vocals on here. So I, and there's, there's pictures of a guy and a girl. So I'm going to, so I think it's safe to say that it is a hetero couple, but you know, I mean that, I mean, this could apply for other gender combinations as well, but based that this is kind of a, this is written for an anime, about an anime, I'm going to go with what's on the screen here. Up and switched on my reality. Huh. So what I'm getting here is maybe um it looked a lot like they were in that they are in school, maybe high school. And I'm guessing that they just met because he just say, you know, she sh sh you showed up and you switched up my reality. I'm thinking that they kind of just met maybe she's the new girl in school. That's what I'm that's the vibes I'm picking up here. And now he has this crush on her. He kind of you know, likes her, and maybe they have interacted a little bit, but maybe not that much. Maybe they've talked a little bit, or are just acquaintances. That's what I'm getting. But um, I, I feel like you know, is is at this point we're wondering, is there a mutual attraction? Are they talking to each other because they like each other, or is he, is he the one that likes her, and she, she doesn't really have anybody else to talk to? But I don't think he does either. And so, okay, that that's what I get is going on. Would you want to take your chances on me? See, would you want to take your chances on me? I guess that kind of tells me a little bit that he feels that the attraction isn't mutual. I'm not used to feeling like this, but something about you is different, yeah. So, I'm guessing this person has never had a crush on anyone before. Maybe this is his first crush. Maybe this is... I, I don't know. Maybe he knows her pretty... No, I don't think he knows her pretty well at this point. But maybe he knows her well enough to feel like, okay, I actually have a chance at a relationship with her. I mean, I I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm an A spec. I've only ever considered a relationship with one person, and I have not seen that person in ten years. So I do not do well in the romantic department, but I've, I've seen enough stories and things like that to know that these, this is how these things go, or at least I thought I did until I discovered 
maybe I got it all wrong? I don't know. Like I said, I'm an A-spec, so I don't really know how... I don't know. Um, I, I don't get how attraction works at all. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this kind of, this kind of makes me think that they know each other a little bit more. Maybe, maybe they did just, maybe if they had just met, maybe it was like just met in the scheme of things like a couple of years ago and they've got to know each other a little bit, but they're still, they still consider each other acquaintances and he doesn't really know exactly where their relationship is, but he... I'm guessing because of this that he has been in a scenario with her where she kind of showed her, you know, maybe some undesirable trait or something, or maybe she kind of revealed something about herself that she doesn't really want people to know necessarily, or that she only shows people that she's really close to. And he's saying, you know, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I like you for you. And we've all, we've all got these issues. We've all got things that we, you know, wish we didn't have. And... You know, I'm not that petty person who's gonna not want to be with you. See, he he's not exactly sure if this whole thing is mutual or not. I don't wanna mess this up. This is more than just a crush. Okay, it's more than just a crush. So now I'm assuming kind of they um kinda at this point there was a time when they were kinda maybe just acquaintances or something like that but maybe now at this point their relationship has deepened a little bit maybe they're friends again i still don't know but i'm thinking that he knows her enough to know that he actually has feelings for her that aren't just based on looks and attraction maybe it's more romantic attraction than something you know like physical you bring out parts of me that no one's seen I can't get you out my head. This is selfish giant man. You can have me if I can keep you all to myself. And again, I'm guessing they've been in maybe at least one difficult situation together because he's saying that she kind of brings out maybe the best of him, or as he says, the parts that I haven't seen. So I'm again, I don't really know what any of this is. I've never seen this anime, but I'm guessing that maybe there were a couple of situations where he may have become a better person or he surprised himself because of something she did or that she was with him. So I'm not exactly, you know, that that's the vibe I'm getting from that. Okay, so now that we got the second verse, we've gotten her point of view, and it turns out this is a mutual attraction, and some things are going on over here, like, let's look. See, so she knows that he likes her. Where was I going with this? Okay, so we, I, with her point of view, we kind of get a better picture of what exactly is going on here. So he likes her, but she, but he is unsure if she likes him back, and so he's kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna, um, you know, I'm not exactly sure I want to take a chance on this. Or as Taylor Swift says, jump and fall into me, and she's saying. No, quit quit putting up this act. I know what's going on. I know you like me, and I know you're kind of kind of holding back because you don't think I like you too. But here's the thing, and that's the next part of this verse. So she's trying to get him to say, I don't know what exactly she is stalling here, but So, 
she likes him and she's trying to let him know that she likes him. But he's not getting the message for whatever reason and it's driving her nuts. I don't want to mess this up This is more than just a crush You bring out parts of me that no one's seen I can't get you out my head This is selfish, I admit You can have me if I can keep you all to myself Yeah, you can have me if Okay, now this kind of makes things a little bit clearer. I think she thinks that he's still kind of questioning what is going on, like if he has feelings for her, which we know he definitely does, but I think by the way he's acting, she's kind of getting the, um, the impression that he's still wondering about it himself. I'm lost in the chase. I'm safe and some space for you. Is there room for two? Just yeah. yeah, we don't need nobody else. Yes, yeah, so we so we've got conflicting messages here and what's going on, because we kind of feel like he's he's he knows he likes her, but he's not, again, he's not sure that she likes him or what she feels about him, but she definitely feels the same way about him that he feels about her. But that hasn't been made clear between them. Okay, I was not expecting that. I forgot that that was in there. I kind of had a feeling that a screamo thing was going to be coming here. Um, I'm not exactly sure that that has a place in the song. Just from what I'm getting, it, it, it just kind of feels like it's there just to put it there to me, but... I mean, sometimes it's it's appropriate, but I mean, I get that they're frustrated about their feelings, but I don't know about that. This is more than just a crush. You bring out parts of me that no one sees. I can get you out my head. This is selfish, I admit. You can have me if I can keep you all to myself. Okay, and then we have this interesting... Okay. Final thoughts here. The one thing that I am not really sure of is where the keep me to yourself idea comes from. I know they like each other and they want to be in a committed relationship, but that just hasn't been communicated yet. And I'm not exactly sure how, um, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, it kind of does feel like it gets together, but it kind of, it kind of just feels a little bit disconnected to me. I'm not exactly sure why. There's probably something here I don't know. But I would definitely say that these two, Sineway Fox and Chi Chi, have definitely done their jobs. I have a pretty good understanding of what is going on. You know, at first it's like one of those songs that it feels like, you know, you don't really pay that much attention to the lyrics. You know there's a narrative going on, but you just don't sit down and deeper analyze it. But once you do that, you do finally see what is going on and that there is there is a story here and there is kind of some conflict. Anyway, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe and check out Beautiful War if you haven't. Produced version is coming soon. Anyway, I'll be seeing you next time. Bye!